This is my very big female praying mantis eating her second cricket for the day. The remnants of the first one are right there. A couple legs and wings. As you can see, her abdomen, her stomach, is quite large. And when I caught her about a week ago in Manteca, she was about that size. And I fed her for a few days, and she was kind enough to lay an egg sack for me that was attached to the, the ceiling of this little pet container. I since took that uh, egg sack out, also called an Uthaka and hung it, hung it up inside a plastic jar to incubate the eggs. Should be between about uh, maybe, maybe 40 or 50 up to a few hundred uh, baby praying mantis in there. Should take a few weeks to hatch out. Hopefully they're fertile. But uh, about two minutes, almost three minutes into eating the cricket that I got for her. She's uh, tearing at its back behind the head. She's actually sitting in a small bowl of water I put in there for her. Maybe going for a little swim. I don't think the cricket is enjoying this. Still alive. Of course, even after their head is chewed off, their body still kicks around and stuff. Again, so this is my common American praying mantis. I don't know the scientific name, but it's not the, the larger Chinese version. eating a store-bought cricket. The last mantis I had like this, I had for a couple of months, and I actually caught the male, and after they mated, she did what they normally do and kill them and eat them. And then she laid an egg sack, and about three days later she laid another egg sac and another three or four days later she laid another egg sac but none of them ever hatched I don't know if that was from something I did or didn't do but it's pretty obvious though after just one mating session that the female can lay more than one Uthaka or cluster of eggs. Well, she's going to start eating the antenna. That ought to feel real good. Not much waste. She ate this cricket, uh, or what's left of it. She ate the other part maybe oh, just about two hours ago. Taking this video with my iPhone so it may not be the highest quality. Giving that cricket a splitting headache. Alright, well she has the head severed from its body. Maybe just has a little bit of connective uh, tissue left.
Mantis do make good pets. Uh, they're non-poisonous. Their teeth are kind of small, so uh, their jaws anyway, so really can't feel them bite. However, their forelegs do have sharp spikes on them. And when they pinch you with those, uh, kind of the same way she's grabbing the cricket, if you get your finger in there, it can poke you. And if you have real thin skin, it can draw blood. For an insect, they're pretty strong. But uh, normally you just hold your hand out and they'll crawl on it. Now they can fly. If they're this fat, they can't. But when they're, um, when they're lean, they can fly away. So you may not want to take it outside if you think it's going to take off because a, a bird may just catch it, eat your little pet. And the cricket's head is completely off and sitting there on the bottom of the tank or part of its head. Now she's going in for the good stuff. But we're going on eight and a half minutes almost, so that's pretty long for a praying mantis video. We'll catch you next time on YouTube. Over and out.